Bwana Sifiwe. Please greet me. And maybe you can do a celebration clap for our general, our garant soldier, our bishop, our brother, our father, our friend. Our sister, Kathy Kuna, and your family, our mother of faith, Tricia Wailimu, as you always say, you have said many times, it is very hard for a mother to bury a son. It's supposed to be opposite. So we condole with you, gracious bishops and pastors and the house of clergy, saints of God and all those who have come to mourn our brother. I will not speak much because you see the head has already spoken. But I'll just speak to my sister Kathy and remind you what our brother would be saying now. Before the foundations of the earth, this God have the last say. And he will make a way. Before the predicament came, he had already made a way. Before all this tragedy, tragedy struck, he made a way for you and your children. He will keep you. And all I ask you is to retain three things. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest is love. Love what he loved. Move with the move of God, in the vision of God, in the dream that he taught you to live in. Because in six years, God gave him the opportunity to mentor you and to give you the way and the answers to all the mysteries that you needed in leadership to take JCC as a movement to the next level. You are not only now the reverend, but you are the bishop. The mother whom they will look up to. And you are capable because before the foundations of the earth, he knew you will be here. He will be with you now, not as a God you have always served before, but as Jehovah God, your husband, man, and father to your children. God bless you.